This has been a very good and important week, not only because the Climate Summit, the New York Summit, has left to us a good atmosphere, a lot of confidence, very strong political positions, announcement, and, and also many sectors, civil society, business sector, indigenous people, feel that they are part of this debate. But also because I see that with that message and with the summary of the summit, we can take that, some of that conclusion to pave the road to Lima as a way to pave the road to Paris 2015. Uh, let me say that also a very good news for Peru has been that we signed with the government of Norway and Germany a letter of intent for the forest in this new mechanism called for a finance based on results, in which Peru are taking some responsibilities mostly regarding land titling, land use change rules, uh, monitoring of the situation of the forest, creating or, or working in trying to have our level of reference. And, and as a counterpart, Norway are going to channel from here to the 2020 an amount of $300 million. We are still discussing with the government of Germany how much money they have uh, will to put on this. But it is a very, very good news because with that or through that, what we are doing or we are going to do it is trying to have more sure or more secure land titles. We are going to have more information based on science of what is the situation of the forest and we are going to give to the forest a lot of value. Because for Peru, what it is important is to bring value to the forest. And it is not only in, in an economic way, but also the value of the culture, the value of the markets, the value of the titles, the value of many things, the value of the climate debate. So with this kind of fund, what we're going to do is that, bring value to the forest. A lot, because I think that the landscape approach is, is a good way to try to integrate pieces. And we need to do that when we talk about the forest, agriculture and people. Because I think that the worst way it is when we talk in an isolated way, because we fail on that. So through the landscape, I think that we are doing a lot of things. We are bringing the biodiversity consideration more closer to the climate debate. Also, we are creating more closer relation between markets and peoples and culture, because when we talk about agriculture, that is more related most of the time to production, with forests that it is focused more in conservation, what we are doing when we talk about global landscape is putting together that pieces. And also it is a good way to try to think about the, the, the governance, because there are in our country different ways to, 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 to deal or to manage the agriculture topic than the forest topics. So I think that the global landscape is a good way to bring together these pieces and obviously what we need to do is use the research and use the science as a base to develop and to advance in this consideration. Lot of things, lot of things because this discussion of land use need to have into consideration the position of the people more focused on agriculture with the people more focused on the forest consideration. Also, we need science to have very clear maps of our stock, uh, carbon stock. We need science to have more consideration of what it is not only the, the, the status of our forest, but the health of the forest. Also, we need science to try to be clear of what could happen with the forest in the future, because we need to take decisions now to adapt it to the future consideration. So, so science, it is, and also we need some kind of political science to try to have the political makers more closer to the consideration that are going to make us able to take good decisions.